TMR gang is about to go live online. Catch the video stream of the hottest and most awarded morning program on Philippine FM Radio. The Morning Rush. Straight from the Mazda Facebook page at RX931. The Mazda YouTube channel at RX931. And twitch.tv slash monster RX931. Time to have fun with hosts Chico, Hazel, and Marky. Join the TMR gang now. Stand by and enjoy the program. Monster RX 93.1, and uh, we are live on Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. Woohoo! Join us on Facebook.com slash RX 931. We're also on YouTube Live and Twitch TV. Good morning to all the monsters locked in, everybody in the comment section. Let's also check out the monster text line before we introduce our very special guest today on the show. Hello to Brenda, who wants to greet her nephew, Yosh. Hello to Ro and... Uh, Ipapangalan daw niya yung kitten, anak ng cat niya, ng papangalan niya, ano? Papangalan niya. niya ng Igor. Oh, nice. Okay, hello Aww. to Mai, who enjoyed that Van Gogh song we played a while back. Hello to Kitty Kuting. Regarding your take on labels or relationships, my question to Chico. So the girl you said you dated way back, did you make it official that she was your girlfriend and you were her boyfriend? And did you really fall in love with her? Mm, I tried my best. And he has no regrets. I no regrets. But I know I like that was that was like a legit that was a legit. And I was I made it very clear to Sabuko, let's just try this out. I, I I never like I never like said like I love you, mga ganon. Like I was like, let's check it out if it'll work. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -mm. There you go. <laughs> I had a butter baby mm, who wait. says Jacob Kadao Hazel. Hello to Maxim the Winter. Also, good morning to the Super Jams and uh, your cup of Tino and Christer. Thank you for tuning in. Somebody wanted to see my shorts. <laughs> Here are the shorts. The shorts that you will be wearing soon. Thank you to Charles. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. So. I guess while we wait for our guest, uh, let's say hi to a few more people on Twitter. Saying hi to Nanoy Jr., Kiko Man Machine. Good morning. Tuned in on this busy pre-holiday Thursday. Saying hi to Totti Marie. Uh, good morning. Uh, walk, mga fursons. Hello to my uh, pudrakels <laughs> who uh, joined them on his walk. So uh, great to see you and great to see everyone here and as I can see, our special guest is here. Without further ado, why don't we welcome her onto the show? Uh, Sarah Nat Natacheni is a voice arts award-winning actor best known for her work in, you know, various roles. 30 characters on Pokemon anime since 2006. And especially known for her role as Ash Ketchum who recently, you know, won the worlds in the Pokemon anime, and we're so proud of him. But without further ado, let's welcome Sarah to the Morning Rush. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Introduce you to my co-host. This is Chico and Hazel. Chico. And Chico and I are, like, huge Pokemon fans. We're, like, the yeah. biggest Pokemon Go fans, and we're we're just so happy to have you on this show. I know. So you know, um, I'd like to ask a question. My first, my ask first you. question is, uh, you know, like, yeah, Ash Ketchum is a boy, and yes. you're a girl, and yes. we've heard so many, like, like for example, Bart Simpson was also voiced by a woman. Is yes. that in the voice world? You know, being yeah. radio people, we're very curious. Are female voices really better suited for like young male characters? Is is that like yeah. can't men do like little because I can't, but can <laughs> men also do like little boy voices? 
It depends on on how high your voice can go. So, uh, you know, prepubescent boys are typically played by women. I've lost my voice. I'm like 85% of the way back to where I normally am. But, uh, you know, if, if, if you have a prepubescent boy, their voices are typically higher. And uh, mm -hmm. once they hit puberty, they get lower. And, and boys, you know, 14, 15, 16 and on, they're generally played by by boys or men. Yeah. Yeah. So what or happens when you full voices? Yeah. What happens when you do get sick? Because I can just imagine <laughs> how hard that is. And we all know that, you know, it doesn't go away immediately. It lasts for a little bit. So what, what happens? What do you do? It, it's not great. Um, it's, it, it's not great. Uh, so usually when I get sick, I, I'm a big proponent. Can I mention a brand on this show? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah sure. Go I'm a it. big proponent of Zycam mouth spray. That stuff, okay. I tell you, I had a cold like three weeks ago. <laughs> And I forgot it. I didn't have any. And I, I was like, I don't know. I was too busy. I didn't buy any. I don't know. I didn't take it. I didn't take it. I don't know why. And for the first time in my life, I didn't take it. And my cold lasted a week and it went through like the cold progression. I even Googled it. I'm like, oh, okay. That's what happens when you have a cold. I haven't had a cold in forever because I spray Zycam and it's gone within a day or two. So that stuff for me really works. Um, and now I just, I've been talking so much. <laughs> And shouting and working in between convention. I do convention like I, I did it every oh, weekend for the last yeah. month. Yeah. So Look, like I, three days of talking nonstop. And then in the middle of the week, I'm doing Pokemon and other stuff. So it's it's just constant vocal use. And so you know, I, it, it's gone. You know, Ash is such an iconic character. Like, how how are you able to get this gig? Like, was it... <laughs> Did you have to go through, like, jump through hoops or the eye of a needle to to be yes. able to, to get this role? Like, how can you describe yeah. to me how the whole process worked? Like, you just go up to the Pokemon company and say, "Hey, I want to voice Ash," and you know, <laughs> oh, so no, how did you get the job? Not at all. Yeah, no. Some I get I get messages like, "I want to," you know, I, "I volunteer," and I'm like, "No, honey, we all volunteer. We all want to do it." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to acting school for four years. Uh, and then when I was 16, I started pounding the pavement in New York, like looking for an agent. I did like um, workshops with agents that they they come mm -hmm. to this kind of like actors connection. There's several places like that one on one in New York um, where you pay money to meet agents. And, you know, depending on how you feel about it, that was kind of the way it was it was done then. And uh, now less so the, the business has changed quite a bit. But back in my day. Um, you needed an agent to work. You really did. And um, the agent came first. Sorry for the noise. I'm in New York. Um, it's very New York. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, it's very loud, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so, uh, you know, I pounded the pavement and I got an agent and a manager. And they happened to send me on this audition for Pokemon. It was really just, it was, wow. it was a fluke. I, I wasn't trying to be a voice actor. It was just uh, something that came to me it was meant for me you know it's some, sometimes wow. you you don't get the thing and sometimes you do mm -hmm. yeah. uh may i ask sarah mm -hmm. i didn't get asked this because we actually yeah. did an interview with uh pokemon philippines mm -hmm. but uh sarah mm -hmm. do you have a particular role because you've you played iconic ash ketchum and 30 other characters in in the, the pokemon anime do you have a role that is a dream for you to play Ooh. Um, Whether I, it's in I, anime or in cartoons or just in general, because yeah. you are this. a role that exists in the world. But my answer to this is always something original, something that's never been done before, <laughs> something that's not being done in another language is something that, you know, that's totally original that I can come up with and play with and create on my own. That's the real answer. Um, but if you want to know like a character that exists, I want to play Ursula one day. Oh, I'm, I'm not vocally there yet, but I will be one day. If I keep using my voice like this, I'll be there sooner than I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, earlier somebody asked us because we, you know, we did announce that we would be ha we would uh, have you on the show. Yeah. Somebody asked us to ask you, since I'm pretty sure you've been exposed to all of these Pokemon, which one is your favorite? Oh, I have a bunch of favorites. Uh, Pikachu is legitimately my favorite. My cat's name is Pikachu. I like saying it. I love the design. I love the personality. I mean, yeah. it's incredible. So, um, but I also love Mew. I love Meltan, Meloetta. A lot of M's. Interesting. Yeah. Um, Pikachu. Yeah. I love Charizard. If I could have like any Pokemon 
in the real world. In the real world. It would be a Charizard because Charizard, you can fly on the Charizard and feel very yes. safe. And then Charizard can can set fire to your enemies. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. You just went uh you just went no. Dracaris on us. That's yeah. badass. <laughs> I gotta say. No, not good. No, I, mean, I I like that answer. You I went like... Daenerys on us. <laughs> Sorry. No, I actually I... don't watch Game of Thrones. It's too violent for me, but like a chart, you know. Yeah, yeah, just a little burn here and there. A little burn. A little yeah. warning. Uh, someone says uh, that explains the fire trucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My bad, guys. Sorry. And, okay. um, you know, Chico is actually a, a pet daddy. Oh, he yes. A pet daddy. Two cats. Two cats no, we have, have, cat. we have six cats and five dogs. Holy yeah. moly. He's rescued a few of these cats. And um, I yes, hear that Sarah has a very, very special uh, foster. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, love. Yeah, we need to talk about this. Uh, so yeah. Voices for Fosters is, is an organization that I started uh, in New York um, at, at when my cat passed away. And Lisa Ortiz, our director, her cat passed away. And we recorded this episode of Pokemon in which a Pokemon passes away. And we're both crying and talking about our pets and, and fostering. Fostering was something I'd never heard of when my cat was passing away. And yes. um, I, I was like, this cat is the best cat in the world. There's no way I'll find another one. I was so devastated. But in the back of my mind, I was like, come on, that's not true. There are so many wonderful animals out there prove it. So I started fostering and I fostered four kittens and my mom hung out with me while I was doing that. And she's like, this is amazing. And she turned my dad's office into a kitten room. And after that, we fostered together like over a hundred cats and kittens. And I would just- That's wow. Them. I will have a very difficult time fostering because- Everyone says that. You just keep, keep all, all of them. <laughs> Everyone says that. Look, I mean, so they're not all great. <laughs> they're not all my best friends. Oh, I met you. some cats that I was like, you know what? This was fun. You can go to your new home now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> go to your forever home now. Uh, forever nice home. to meet you. It's not my favorite. Uh, you know, <laughs> speaking of, um, like, were you a fan before you got the role were you a pokemon fan or were you more like you know of it but you weren't really into a deep dive into pokemon and you just started learning it as you um, progressed with the role uh no i was a fan i was a big fan i was 10 years old when the show came out which mm -hmm. which oh it's time time for the secrets so this is weird i i was born in 1987 the show came out in 1997 in America, and they say he's 10 years old. So if he's 10 years oh. old, then he was born in 1987, just like me. <laughs> I was born in 1987. Not 1987. <laughs> Let's not lie to the guests. <laughs> I was born in 86. No, no, we no, all no. the same age. Wait, no, it's just you and me. It's just you and it's me. Just but us. I to, yeah, well, no, actually, no. Chico is. Just, is in his delusional I'm era. <laughs> the era, so There's that's gonna be a floating head here. Yeah, I'm I'm 36 years, 36 years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I told someone I was 26 today, and he believed me. So we're we're in good shape. Okay, we're all great. in good shape, guys. This is good. Great. He's great. been 36 now for how many years? A few years. A few years. A few years. Who's counting? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you. I mean, Ash never ages. Hello. Exactly. You know, he's been like he's been on the show like forever and he's still the same age. So exactly. why can't I? So and we're all 36. Therefore, no, you're not, I'm not. Speak for yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 35. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm 17 going on 18. I okay. I refuse to age. I am a method actor. My character does not age. Therefore, I will never age. Thumbs up. I love I'm that. With you. I'm I with love you that. All the way. Oh, speaking of your character, um, what was it about Ash that you could relate to the most? His uh, his tenacity. Have you have you seen my Webby's campaign? <laughs> I am I'm campaigning. See, I'm just like, what would Ash Ketchum do? And I'm not saying that he would do this, but in my mind. He would be campaigning this hard in this situation. I'm come. I, I listen. My my fellow nominees all have millions, millions, and millions of followers on Instagram and Twitter. Between Instagram and Twitter, I got 140k for which I'm very grateful. They're wonderful, but it's a it's 
a drop in the bucket compared to what they've got. So I, every two seconds, I'm like, vote for me, vote for me. <laughs> okay, so how do they, like if they wanted to vote for you, how does the whole process go? Literally like, follow me on social media <laughs> or I don't know, maybe we could post a link here or something, whatever you want. But the link is all over my social media. It's in my link in bio everywhere you go. Uh, yeah, just link and vote and uh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so we have a catch this. <laughs> well, it's it's the Webby Awards, it's right? The Webby so, Awards, uh, right? Yes. Yeah. So you just, actually just go to the webbyawards.com. Okay. And uh, search for Sarah. That's her name right over here. Yeah. On the yeah, the upper right side, I think. And just uh yeah, and please vote for her. Uh mm -hmm. because we're such big fans of of Pokémon and we want Sarah, Sarah and we want Ash to get their happy I know, ending. right? And Ash really did yeah. got his, you know, his his big win. Ash got his big win. I yeah, need a big win. True. Otherwise, I'm gonna go try to get a claw toy, toy. You know the claw toy toys? Yeah, Mark is a, is, is a quite a master at that. And another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those claw machine things. Oh, you know what? I'm just that curious. So creepy. <laughs> we we talk about this all the time, Marky and yeah. I. Um, because yeah. because we talked about your favorite Pokemon. Yes. But I'm curious. What is your least? Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I, don't know time. Time. I really have to look for one. I really got I got to really search for one. I, I don't have a least favorite Pokemon. I feel like they're all great in their own way. It's like asking me what's my least favorite cat of all the cats that I've fostered. Even the even the uh, Team Rocket Pokemon, you like them? Oh, Those horrible horrible people. Oh, I love <laughs> Team Rocket. I love Team Rocket. <laughs> Those scheming, horrible <laughs> villains. <laughs> Those <laughs> villains. <laughs> I um I just posted the link on yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Right there there you now. Go. So uh yeah. It's it's so just just click on that and please vote for Sarah. We can yeah. do it. I'm I'm uh, I'm I have 22% of the vote right now. I'm in second place. Stephen Colbert is is in first place. He's Stephen Colbert. Um, he has 30% of the vote. So 22 to 30, we got to go up eight points in the mm. next day. I think Nobody. I think if you guys like vote, share, tell your friends, have a party, we can do it. Yeah. I yes, we're rooting for you, the Sarah. Tenacity so, yes. Of Ash it would be so cool. It would be so good for the plot. First of all, I really like the idea if, the, if, if, if this happens, if I win this, it's 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 great because it shows that you don't need to have a huge following to have an award worthy social media situation. You yeah. know what I mean? Everybody else in that category has so many followers, and I don't. And it's kind of I think it would be a really nice story, and and you know just inspiring for people to see that that can be done. Very and Ash, also, exactly. Yeah, that's very I'm Ash. Right. And also, <laughs> I, I'm so, nominated. Oh, no, 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 but like you know how like when Ash meets like some big shot like trainer trainer that is like the champion of the world, he'd be like, "Hey, can we battle?" You know, it's like right. I would be like, oh, "I'm nowhere near as as good as you, but you know what? My Pokemon will go up against yours, and let's do it. Let's battle." Uh, I'm gonna try. You gotta try. Look, look at these guys. John Hernandez says, "Voted hashtag Make Sarah the very best." <laughs> Oh, I love that. Oh my Is god, it, I love that. Hashtag makes the very best. Don't oh, dare really noise, do. you'll win. Oh yeah. That's great. This should be number one, Ruel says. Oh, lots of lots of people. <laughs> lots of lots of I think you should tell everybody in our language to vote for you. So can you say Ibotonyoko, Sarah? Ibotonyoko, Sarah. Yes, <laughs> like nice. nice. I love it. <laughs> Good job. Oh, okay. So last question. We, we yes. have some uh, people who are asking some questions. This is um, sure, Elaine. Sure, sure. Says, Can you say that you are kind of similar to Ash in real life? I mean, we spoke a little bit about this, no. but, you know, let everyone know how close your, you know, your lives and trajectories yes. have been. So this has been my favorite discovery over the last, like, few months. Okay. So the fact that we are born in the same year, the the uh, the year that the first episode aired, he was ten years old and I was ten years old. So we were born the same year. Next, 
he won the Orange League in an episode that aired in 1999. That same year, I won the bronze medal at the Junior Olympics for rhythmic gymnastics. Fast forward to 2019, the episode where he wins the Alola League airs. And that year, I won a voice arts award for work that I did on the show. It wasn't just that, but it, it involved. Either way, we both won that same year. Now, it's 2023. He wins the world championship. And I'm going to win a claw toy if I don't win this Webby. So, uh, <laughs> I need to vote for me, okay? For the plot. For the plot. <laughs> I will. I will I, win I, you a claw toy in Worlds if this doesn't happen. We'll find a way. We're going to find a claw toy and I'm going to get yes. it. <laughs> yes. Nice, nice. Also, also, Pikachu, my cat Pikachu, wasn't very nice to me in the beginning either. He was biting my ankles when I was feeding him. Just, just, like, like, God. just like Ash. Just like Ash. <laughs> it's wild. It's really weird. This is really weird. Yeah. So that plot you know, needs to happen. Parallels. The parallels are wild. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, guys, amazing. We're all saying amazing. Oh. Back. That, that's another one we should teach you. Back. What is that? Is that just curse? <laughs> no, it's not. Curse? No, no. It, it just means that's amazing. Like, oh, okay. okay. Back. In our in our very Gaelic. <laughs> yes. Because uh, like we have we have Filipino, we have Tagalog, yeah. and then we have their slang, like a gay yeah. version of Tagalog. Which oh. Is, yeah. So. It, it's called I don't know a Beckymon. What 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 do you call uh, it? It's just slang. It's just the slang, yeah. I guess. You have you say, a called Beckymon? Oh like, yeah. It's oh, like gay yeah. speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It started yeah. it started from there. I think it originated from a guy called Beckymon. He called himself Beckymon. You guys. And that's how he spoke. This yeah. So he was a, a Pokemon. <laughs> if it gets to be too much, just say Amakana Akla. <laughs> say it one more time. Amakana akla. Amakana akla. <laughs> Perfect. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yeah. I live. What, what does it mean? What like, does it mean? What does it mean? Like, what? What is it? The closest? Stop it. Yeah, or something like, like, like that. Stop it, gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But it's like, you know, it's something said like when you're you're friends with a person. Yeah. Know? Everyone's oh, like perfect perfect, perfect. perfect. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Just go kung ano, ano, ano <laughs> what like oh my gosh what, the things you're teaching her <laughs> uh yeah but like okay we have we have a couple last questions um Wait, where was that? Where was that? Uh, if you were a Pokemon, Gino says, which yeah. one would you be? Ooh, that's fun. You two. Oh. Yeah, I want all the Mewtwo. power. Oh. If I were Mewtwo, I'd be winning this award right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, yeah. You know, Mewtwo is yeah. the, the guy, right? He's like aggressive on the surface, but like but kind a good of heart good inside. Name. Yeah. That's yeah. how I a lot of people are like, um, yeah. awesome Sarah, 11 out of 10. I asked, <laughs> I, I like uh, that she said it first and fast and then asked what it means after. Exactly. I, I trust, I trust my friends. Yeah. I mean, we're not, we're on live radio. I mean, we're gonna say <laughs> we are on live. exactly too bad, right. Yeah, lots of people are, are are saying that they're done voting. Good luck. Thank and you. um, you know, it's it's just so great to see how ash has evolved through the years right. you know and and how he's grown as an individual and he's grown as a tenacious child mm. into the champion that he is now yeah right yes. yeah um any thoughts okay john hernandez says any thoughts or no spoiler thoughts of the new horizon saga i got no spoilers i don't know what's going on um i think it's beautiful <laughs> I think the characters are beautiful and um, it seems to have like a different, a little bit of a different vibe than, than the show that I was in. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm excited to watch. I'm going to watch it obviously. Really. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Um, uh, here's, how about this? Which trainer from the series would you want to meet in real life? Uh, I'm like thinking of the voice actors like the Serena, her voice actor is, is a really good friend of mine, Haven Burton Pascal. She's awesome. Uh, but Serena, I think Serena is my favorite uh, companion for Ash. 
Uh, oh, I like, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like Cynthia is a really good trainer. And I want to be Paul and give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> you you even move like a like a cartoon character. Yeah. <laughs> Why <am> you? <laughs> no, because I I actually watched the Vanity Fair uh video mm -hmm. of her when she was actually doing a take. Right. And I just loved how she was able to like literally you have to match the lips, mm -hmm. even if it's a yeah. Japanese original dub, and uh, little things like oh ah. Mm, mm. like mm -hmm. moments in between that just yeah. create the character and make it yeah. so perfect. So it's, it's just great. Great to meet you and great to have you on, on you. the show. So you know what? Why don't you invite everyone once again, everyone listening? Uh, you know, we're also live on radio. So why don't you please invite everyone to vote for you for the sure. Webby Award? Okay, if you're just tuning in, I'm Sarah Natacheni. I'm the English voice of Ash Ketchum on Pokemon for the last 17 years. I am nominated for a Webby for a video that I made uh, honoring my time on the show on Pokemon. Um, I'm nominated alongside uh, legends, uh, including Jennifer Garner, Lupita Nyong'o, Stephen Colbert, and the Muppets. Wow. And me. I don't have millions of followers, so I really appreciate this grassroots effort. You guys are hardly grassroots. You guys are a really big channel, actually, in this world on live radio. Um, but thank you so much. Please go to uh, vote.webbyawards.com. Uh, or just webbyawards.com. You can go to the voting place. And um, I'm under the celebrity social media category, but you can just search my name. It's Sarah Natacheni. It's up here. Um, if you can't spell it, just Google Voice of Ash. You, you'll, you'll, you'll see it. Um, yeah, uh, I really, I would love to win this audience award. I'm very close. I'm in second place to Stephen Colbert right now. I'm right behind him, right behind him. Come yeah, and win, like Stephen. <laughs> A couple of days ago, you were like, she, she was fourth. And oh, wow. Like, so it's, wow. It's coming. It's coming. I was 19% oh. and now we're at 22%. And um, I have to get up to 30%. Let's so, get it. Uh, and, and voting ends in, in, in like literally two, two, 28 hours or something like that. It ends at, Ooh. yeah, it ends in like 28 hours. So please guys go vote, go vote. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your grandma. She's got an email address. Get in there. Let's vote. Let's win. Ash Ketchum won the world championship this year. I want to win this. I want to win this to honor my time on this show. It's 17 years. I don't have a job anymore. We should win an award. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you very thank much, you so Sarah, much, Sarah, for joining thank us. You, Sarah, thank for joining you. us. And thank good you so luck. much for having me. Thank Go you. Thank you for your support. I can't wait to come to the Philippines. I can't wait to meet you guys. You should. Yeah. You should. Um, to show how to the, you got to go research the beaches and tell oh, yeah. me which beach you want to go to when you come visit. You got it. You got it. I'll but do it. We got a lot of people saying, done voting. Good luck, Sarah. You got this. You. you know, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Say hi to Mateo. Who's uh, Mateo? I went, to, I went to acting school with a boy named Mateo, and I haven't seen him since. <laughs> You're that there's Mateo. A, there's <laughs> a speaker here in the Philippines called Sarah Hiroshima. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> no. Anyway, no, no, no. secrets. Right. I want to know. Oh no, it's 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 uh, like there's a, there's this singer. Like I didn't understand it either. I was like, thank you, thank you, Sarah. Say hi to Mate Mateo. Who's Mateo? Is that her cat? No, Mateo is the boyfriend of a girl called Sarah in the Philippines. The husband. Oh, husband. Yeah, husband. Husband. Sorry. Oh, okay. So it's, it's funny. And uh, there you go. Thank you very thank much. You so thank much. you so much. Thank you so much. It was great to talk to you guys. Thank you. And thank hope you to see you in the Philippines. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> if you're ever here. Absolutely. Of course. You're my only friends there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Bye. Bye so if you haven't voted yet, we already posted the link. Make sure you vote for Sarah, okay? But for now, more music here on The Monster. And then we'll get to the final batch of today's top 10. Nicki Minaj, Red Ruby, to sleaze only here on The Monster. Good morning. Hello. Hello.
Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> <laughs> kakaloka kasi, sabi ni Japan. Ito si Tetet yung dapat sinabihan ni Sarah ng ama ka na. Okay? Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Bawal kasi, Jervis. Bawal, ano. Because of the po- the Pokemon company has a lot of rules and she's not allowed that the voice belongs to them. <laughs> so um it's not allowed. All right. Here you go. For everyone who just joined, you can vote here. Ah, it's Ria. They're asking who is behind me. Yeah. So it's like, it's Ria. Hello. Yeah, my restrictions, Japat. Sorry. <clears throat> 75 year campaign. Ano to? Oh, I'm able to suck the strawberry through the thin straw. Oh, I'm proud of you. (laughs) The suction. You're improving, my Padawan. (laughs) (sighs) It's actually better because it may contain resistance versus when you use. That's always the case. (laughs) Because when you use the bigger straw. Like, even when you don't mean to suck the tiny bits, so masama sila. Mm. But when you use it ta- like a, a regular straw, like there's a bit of a, like you have to consciously be sucking it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like Japat <laughs> said, hazel strawberry sucker agilon. Mm. Uh, mm. 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 Do you like it when there's chunks? <laughs> so- I mean, uh, for strawberries, yes, but in general, no. Mm. Mm. I sucked that right out. Mm. Okay. You chupacabra, you. Mm. Chupacabra! <laughs> no, it's like, you know, like, like goat, suck, goat sucker. Huh? Goat sucker. It's chupacabra. Is that what it means? Yes, that's what it means. Cabra is goat. The other word is... Is that where the other word comes from? Goat sucker. Diba usually dead goats? Yun yung sign ng merong chupacabra if there are dead goats. Na parang drained yung blood. Sucked it dry. Parang gumanda yung lighting ko dito. Biglang nag-regulate. It's not that dark. It's not. Wait, let's black. see. Let's see how it. What happens if I turn this off? How will that? Yeah, for some reason the camera is just cooperating today. Uh, yes, Chico actually watched Chupa and he learned a lot from the show. So that's probably where he learned this. Good morning, Ernest Allen uh, from uh, the States. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Hi to Richmond. How do you join the Russia group now? Oh, send him ways to join the Russia group. Ah, uh, is there a problem with the feed, ba? Uh, Jason's asking if we've secured uh, tickets for Hamilton. I don't know if we have. Because, I well, I tried, but it's a bit expensive for me. 
But since I worked with GMG for a while, Beck and a man. <laughs> Beck and a man. We'll see. I think there's going to be a gala night, so I might I might be watching that. Christopher, thanks for uh, tuning in and thanks for voting for Sarah. Uh, and he's a member of Pokemon Philippines group page. Thanks for joining that. Ah, si Elaine says sold out na halos lahat ng dates. Oh my gosh, yeah. Pre-sale pa lang, ubus na, sabi ni Elaine. Oh no. Oh wow, si Pawi Tapalya voted for Sarah using Twitter and Google. Oh, so you can. I thought it was an email. Oh my gosh, Ernest. Hello. Hello, Ernest. Hello. Good morning. May GC pull Long back time no here. Christine. <sighs> Ah, uh, you can use multiple accounts to vote. Um, what will be my song for the Ang Larawan concert? Um, Conga. <laughs> it's very. Conga, <laughs> Conga. Yeah. No. I I love in that song though. I love how they rhymed <laughs> Conga with Longa. Any, Any Longa. longa. <laughs> Actually, I swear. Anyway, hold on. Let's go back on here. Monster RX 93.1, time for the top 10 for today. And do we have some final greets? Yes, we do. Good morning to Ro and uh, to Alex. Uh, Ro says, Chico, yung angkas uh, long sleeves on mo din with the shorts, maybe? <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, we'll try. I will, I will come it. up with something. We miss the love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello to Right. Oh, you know what? Me ka pa sa amin, Chico. What? You're unfair because Rhea and Gail did their consequence when you lost the monster challenge that we did. Oh, you yeah. You haven't done yours. What was I supposed to be? We were supposed to put makeup on you. Wasn't it like you're just supposed to wear something weird? But no. But naging makeup they challenge. They both did like they both did a whole look. You should too. Exactly. A look. Who says anything about makeup? Chico. Ikaw nang invento ka na. No, no. We said you have to look. It was just an no. uh, an outfit. No. Yeah. No. I'm going to watch the video again. <laughs> You're, it's unfair. That's unfair to your teammates. Because they did it. Diba costume lang? Ikaw nang invento ka. <laughs> we said we would put whiskers on you. And like a red nose or something just that do you, you have give ariana a ears you should give him a full drag makeup that's a lot of effort i could just put eyelashes on you maybe anything but that anything that has anything to do with the eyes but yeah maybe like oh no no i said we would put like two red cheeks oh yes yeah, we'll do that. Okay, okay, we can do Tomorrow? that. We can, we can do, do that. Yeah, we can Tomorrow. do that. Tomorrow. Well, because there might be people coming over. Yeah. That would be perfect. And you can wear your shorts, and then you can wear your long sleeve, You're and then you can walk down, <laughs> and then you can do a whole ballroom thing. Oh, diba? Gusto mo look. Mm. Oh, I vote the short shorts, the, <laughs> the long sleeves. The long sleeves. <laughs> And then, and then I can be pray tell and go. Category is may you've helmet. made me stronger. May, may helmet kayo. <laughs> may nakita akong helmet na Hello Kitty. Oh my Meron god! Kayo. Kailangan okay. may helmet. But you have to do it. You have to do it. Um, okay. good morning to M and to Cyril, also to the Super James and my friend Rai, who's locked in, and uh, Yon Tefian as well. 
Um, and on Twitter saying hi to a few people. Oh, sorry, I didn't get to read your questions for Sarah. Um, hi to uh, Kaloyski, EJ Rodriguez. Hi to Kiko Man Machine. And uh, that's it for greets. All this right. is going to be a number less top there. Okay. So thanking Victoriano for the topic. Hashtag examples of mixed signals. So for Mike Ferrer, uh, sabi niya, ayaw niyang sumama kasi pagod na siya. Tapos nagagalit naman pag hindi mo iniimbita. Yeah, this is a classic. It's because you want... The courtesy it, of an invite. The courtesy of, of an invite. And the chance to say no. But on the other hand, there's also the nakakasawa din mag ng taong hindi ng hindi. Hmm. So like whose feelings are we considering? Yours or mine? The one inviting or the one being invited? The other one loves being invited, but they, they don't go. The other one naman parang, this makes me feel like shiz. Because I keep inviting I you. I keep inviting you and no. you never go. So I'm just going to stop inviting you. So ang hirap. Yeah. Uh, from Jyoti, okay lang daw sabi ng text ng nanay mo na nawala mo yung pambayad ng tuition. Pero ba't ganun? Pag uwi mo, may sasalubong sa yung sinturon tsaka asin na nasa bilao. And you're going to have to like kneel down on that oh, rock that's salt. That's painful. That is painful. Oh my gosh. Have I, you tried it? I have not, but I'm I'm 100% sure. I remember there was this one time I had like a salt scrub. Little did I know that the salt that they were going to use was not like... Super fine. Iodized salt levels. We are talking... Rock salt. Oh and by the time I was done, I was screaming, telling Ate to like ease up on the pressure. Like I, I was like Tosino. Like I was so red. I was like, wasn't this supposed to be relaxing? This is a spa. And oh my gosh. Because it was a gift. Like maybe a coffee scrub. I'm good with coffee scrub. I'm good with sugar scrub. My gosh, rock salt, never again. <laughs> Justice for Chico. Uh, like, it was so painful. Uh, what was it? Sugar scrub or spice scrub? Or both? body parts. Sugar or spice? Sugar. Sugar is finer, I would think. I don't know. Kasi I don't know. Si spice. Di ba mas gusto mas si spice? Uh, what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about like a spa treatment? I don't know. I don't, pero grabe talaga. Namula talaga ako, promise. And it was so painful. And buti na lang, what came with a gift was a milk bath, which apparently I thought was actually milk, but it's not. They just put something in the water to make it milky. Does it smell like milk? Mm, ish. But it just made it kind of like cloudy. <laughs> just made the water cloudy and milky-ish. And put it along so that it was like, it kind of like eased up on the pain. Oh. My gosh, that was one of the most <laughs> hands down painful moments of my life. <laughs> grabe siya, grabe ang sakit. And uh, from Savior Loki, true story, may crush akong barista before. May special drink pa ako ha, na for me lang daw talaga yung recipe. Pag nasa coffee shop. As in like todo nakikipagkwentuhan pa siya. Tapos sa social media, pag chinat ko, sin zone, at most napakatipid ng sagot. Parang pag in person, mm. they're so friendly. Well, it's part of their job also. Parang, pa, yun nga eh. Parang if, if it's like part of their job, they'll do it. But if you, if you kind of like connect with them as a person, it's like, oh, nope, I'm not, I'm not on call right now. Yeah. I'm not going to chat with you the way I chat with you in the cafe. And uh, from the super malice guy, sabi niya, anywhere daw kami kakain. Di naman siya gutom. Pero pag naman may nirecommend ako, ang dami niya laging, ay, ayoko dyan kasi ganito. So, is the super malice guy an ex of yours? Hazel? <laughs> uh, parang ano eh. <laughs> ex you know siya? what? Kasi... Yung, yung ganun ko is my version of ano. Bakit? Bakit? Oh, oh. It's my version of me. I don't like that. Oh, what um, else? Kung kukurutin ko sa singit pag yun ang kalama ko. And uh, from Shivana, I give mixed signals to my body. Starvation today, 
tomorrow 10,000 calories. <laughs> Kaya parang mix na rin yung metabolism ko. Oy. And weight fluctuations. Hey, agree. That's ah. what happens to me. Throughout the week, yeah. I eat very little. And during the weekends, binge. I I kind of had something like that yesterday. It was so weird. Because you know me, I don't have a problem skipping like lunch. You know, go straight to dinner. Usually don't have a problem. Parang it's so weird. Nagrebelde yung katawan ko. Like, I was ravenous. So I was like, because I'm not the type to force myself yeah. to, to, to be hungry. Like, if I'm hungry, I will eat. It's just that on a normal basis talaga, I'm just, I'm just not hungry. Mm. So, I ate lunch. Tapos pagdating ng dinner, we ate out. I was like, I'm so hungry. Let's order a lot. So, I ate a lot. Pagdating namin sa bahay, magpa-deliver tayo. I'm hungry. <laughs> we Again? ordered food. Like late at night. I don't know what I don't know what, what okay, came wait, over me. Late, I was so hungry. Late, late is like eight. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Oi, late at night. Grabe. Rebel. Look at you. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> so proud. La, yeah. Oh. I imagine at seven thirty I was eating food. Samantalong ako 3 a.m. <laughs> Kumakain ka pa. Kumakain ako ng Ay, balot. A food. Ay, like actual balot. Uh, 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 food pala. Okay. And, <laughs> hey, I was good last night. I bet you were. Nauna ka pa umorder sa akin. Eh, nag-dinner ka pa. You were good last night? Yung ba sabi na? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. And uh, Tampubo <laughs> says... Yung nag-DM siya ng Hi, crush. So, syempre, sumagot ako. Haba, hindi na nag-reply after. Oh, that's so weird. Why would you engage? Kasi <laughs> siya nag-initiate eh. Siya yung nag-initiate, called you his or her crush, and then ignore you after you reply. Nako. That's weird. That is weird. Archer Aguilar says, You flirt with me all the time, but the moment I confessed, it was like you became allergic to me. Like, because you know how like some people just flirt. Yeah. They don't plan to take it any yeah. further. I mean, us, Hazel, we, we do this all the time. Like, alam mo yung all bark and no bite? Yung like... I can bite. Okay, me... If asked. <laughs> Sige, ako na lang, ako na lang. No, no, no. It's but it's wild. true. It's Pero true. Diba, right? And remember, we were talking about it. I think Philip Chonglo as well. Mm. Remember, we were talking about this. Like, you yeah. just like the whole banter, uh, naughty naughty wordplay and mm -hmm. all that. But you take it beyond that, biglang tiklop ka. And you're like, oh, wait, I'm really wait, not that interested. I wasn't or... really, like, going to do anything outside of just the back and forth verbiage, you know, that kind of thing. Um... Mike Ferrer says, examples of mixed signals, nag-comment si Crush ng sana all dun sa photo ko hugging my fur baby. Kaya nag-message ako, gusto mo hug din kita, tas wala na. Di na hmm. Eh baka kasi what they meant was sana all may pet dog. Oo nga. Oh, hindi, sana all hina -hug. hindi sana all hinahug mo. Yeah. I mean, that might be a different thing. And... Hey. Sorry, okay. Mitch says pahabol pa greet Steve Tan from Maxi Care. Oh, hello! Live streaming yeah. siya sa computer. Oh, nice. Thank hello. you. Hi to Steve Tan. Thank Thanks you. Thank for you. Tuning in. Okay. Sorry. And we have two top entries because this was supposed to be two, two batches, because right? Because what's better than one top? Ra like, yun? It's D, D, T. D, T. Double top. <laughs> you read the first one first, and then the other one okay. comes out of nowhere. There you go. So, uh, so yeah. yeah, let's start off with uh, Tampupu. Examples of mixed signals. Tampupu says. Tampupu says what? Ah, siempre ako magsasabi. Tampupu says. <laughs> I thought you were telling. Me. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what he what? says. It's not in front of me. Tampupu says, examples of mixed signals, yung nanay mo na kapag tumutulong ka sa gawaing bahay, sasabihin, hay nako, akin na nga yan, ako na dyan. Pero pag siya naman ang pinagawa mo, sasabihin, ako na lang gumagawa ng lahat dito. Paano na lang kayo kung mamatay ako? Wow, 
Cuba moms tend to be that way, right? That's true. Uh, you know what? It's not really because they want you to like not do anything, but it's more like at least acknowledge. Sometimes that's all they want. They're actually okay doing everything. Mm. Well, some moms. Some moms want you to yeah. pitch in. Pero it gets, parang I think most of the time, it's really more of like, I wish I'd get some acknowledgement from my family yeah. that I wash your clothes, cook your food, wash the dishes, or whatever it is that, mm. you know, the specific mother does. Yeah. Sometimes that's all you want. Yeah. And from Al Macchiato, examples of mixed signals, yung mga email conclusions na, Please don't hesitate to contact me, all caps, anytime if you have any questions or concerns. Tapos magagalit pag tinawagan mo in the middle of the night. Sabi mo anytime. anytime. Sabi mo anytime. But, I guess anytime that isn't in the middle of the night. Well, if I if I were the boss, I would just leave out the anytime part. I'd be like, please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions or concerns. And I will assume that you will ask your questions during the proper times. Like decent hours. Decent hours naman. Wag naman yung madaling araw. All right. So what about us? Examples of mixed signals. Mixed signals. Mm. Huh. Oh. I think like when... When maybe also coming from your your mom, when mm. she tells you to watch what you eat, yes. But then she's also yes. the first person to feed you, like when you get home, and she's always like worried that you missed a meal, and they're like, "Oh, you know, you have to eat," and it's like moms and lolas, signals. Ma- yeah, mama mo, lola mo, diba? Usually, at saka yung minsan meron pang outward shade will say something about your body. And then Iba we'll body shame ka pa na. Taba mo na ngayon. Tapos biglang, oh, but hindi ka kumakain. Kainin mo yan. Linuto ko para sa sa'yo. And you're like, make yeah. up your mind. Oh. Okay, for me, because I've heard this. I've heard people tell me, you know what? Just, I would prefer that you tell me the truth rather than not tell me the truth. At least I know how to deal with it. And then when you tell them the truth, they get upset. They oh, upset is not the word. They get mad. <laughs> so that kind of confuses me because I always thought like as long. I let me very ano. Okay, here's another version, a, a parent version of this. Yung sabi niya na ako sinin nakabasag ng vase. Mas maganda na yung magsabi kayo ng totoo kesa lahat kayo naglalay. Tapos pag umamin ka naman na ikaw ay nakabasag, how gupitin ka ng sinturo? <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I always find that that's such a mixed signal. Because parang like, I feel like I got tricked. Yeah. But that's why you shouldn't. Diba nga yan, <clears throat> I think, like, for example, with gentle parenting. Now, shout out to my, one of my besties, Jay. Um, like, I think it encourages children to not lie. And for the, it encourages kids to feel comfortable enough to own to up tell to their you the truth. mistakes. Because yeah. yeah. you're going to be gentle in dealing with them. Like you're not, yeah. like you said, hindi ka nila hahambalusin if you admit that you broke the vase. Diba? They're instead going to explain to you that, okay, next time you have to be careful because uh, if you're not careful, that's what happens. You're going to break stuff. And we don't want stuff to be broken. I yeah. think it's, it's got something to do with that. Yeah, so hopefully, sure. people are like different. Because you know, honestly, it's a little... It's a little traumatizing because you thought, because you were given the parang, look, you know what? Just tell me the truth. Mas maaayas natin to. If you tell me the truth, how do you really, you know, what's really on your mind? Tell me na lang. Nilandi mo ba to o hindi? Parang ganon. Oh. Parang ganon. I, yung parang I, like, I just want to know. Para at least, you know, it's better. Like, I would be actually more upset if I found out from, from somebody else. else or blah, blah, blah. Tapos biglang umamin ka and then it's like, okay, friendship over. F- you know what oh. I mean? It's like, it's it's kind of like, ooh, okay. I wish yeah. I just didn't tell you so that, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. I know how you feel. Um, this is more body mixed signals, like from my body and from, I'm sure, a lot of you guys. When you feel so tired and you just want to go to sleep and like you feel like once you lie down in bed, you're going to pass out. But then when you get there, 
you're just up for another hour, an hour and a half trying to get to sleep. Yeah. And then when you don't want to sleep because you have something to do, that's when you just pass out. That happens to me all the time. Like at night. When I think to myself, you know what? In order for me to make it early on the show the next day, yeah, it has to start with my sleeping habits. You know, mm, I have mm. to sleep early. So I have to sleep by, let's say, 10.30. That's usually my goal. But by 10.30, maybe I'm just having dinner. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's so weird. And then during the day when I'm supposed to be doing stuff, that's when I'm the most sleepy. Ugh. So, paano? Exactly. What to do? Melatonin. Pwede rin ako. Let me just add. Yung ako naman. Pag ako yung mix signals. <laughs> yung pag kunyari nag-usap tayo na, you know what? We should ganito. Oh my gosh! Let's do it! Let's do that! O oh, Chico, gawin na natin bukas. Can I just stay home? Very It's very, yeah, very that. Sabi ni Tino, <laughs> kaya need ni Hazel ng throuple sleepover para masanay matulog ng maaga. There's an idea. Ruffle sleepover. Mm. Kasi, oo, totoo yan. Kasi papainumin kita ng isang tuneladang melatonin. <laughs> Para tulog ka. <laughs> Or okay. ano quit. In terms of sleeping positions, who will be in the middle? Si babe. Oh, alam nga naman, isa sa amin. Parang kadiers. <laughs> Baka bumuka yung lupa. Baka bumuka yung lupa. Oo. So I'm gonna be there taking the video. Hindi, alam mo yung, naka- alam mo yung nakakatawa dyan. Yung parang yung kung biglang, pag biglang hinag ko si Hazel from behind. Ang contest, sino yung inang, unang sisigaw ng iyo, 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 iyo. <laughs> Shaw ako. I cannot. I cannot. Who is the big spoon? Who is the small spoon? I don't know. Hazel or Chico? No. Alam mo, chopsticks na lang. <laughs> <laughs> chopsticks na lang. Chopsticks. But thank you for joining thank us. Thank you for joining us. We hope you guys enjoyed today's show. And uh, we hope you enjoyed our interview with Sarah earlier. And uh, don't forget to vote for her. And don't forget to join us again tomorrow. We'll be back. And uh, during Holiday Friday. That's Bye. right. Oh my gosh, it is a Holiday Friday. Woo-hoo. Excited to see the rush. Oh, well, if the rushers come in tomorrow. Yeah, All we'll right. leave you with we'll one last ya. song. Stick around. Rhea Rance is up next. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.